Uh, Chris Watts, W-A-T-T-S. Uh, what, what's going on right now around your house? Right now, it's got canine units, the sheriff's department. Everybody's like they're they're doing their best right now to figure out like if they can get a scent, and see where they went. If they went on foot, they went in a car, they went somewhere. And right now, it's just like they've they've been on point. They're going through the house trying to get a scent, and hopefully, they can pick something up to where it's it's going to lead to something. What happened? Me, me she, like, she came home from the airport at 2 a.m. and I left around 5.15, she was still here. And like about 12.10 in that afternoon, her friend Nicole showed up at the door. Like I had texted Shanann a few times that day, called her, say, you know. But she never got back to me, but she wasn't getting back to any of her people as well. And that's what really concerned a lot of people is like, if she's not getting back to her, like if she doesn't get back to me, that's fine. Like she gets busy during the day. But she didn't get back to her people, which was very concerning. And Nicole called me when she was at the door, and that's when I came home. And then walked in the house, and nothing was vanished. Nothing was here. I mean, she wasn't. She wasn't here. The kids weren't here. No, nope, nobody was here. What's your wife's name? Shanann. S H A N A N N. What's your What's your kids? Bella and Celeste. Celeste. Uh, C E L E S T E. How old are you? How old are you? Four. Bella's four. Celeste is three. And so, how many times did you try calling her? I called her three times, texted her about three times, just to say, you know, what's going on? Like, I did, I, cause after, after, the, after I called her and texted her once, it was like, like maybe she was just busy, like, it, she'd just gotten back, you know, like, everybody's probably calling her from her trip. She just got back from Arizona. And I figured, yeah, she was just busy. But when her friend showed up, that's what it was like, it, it registered, like, all right, this isn't right. She just took off. Do you think? I, I mean, right now I don't even want to just like throw anything out there. Like, I hope that she's somewhere safe right now and with the kids. But I mean, could she have been? Could she just taken off? I don't know. But if somebody has her and they're not safe, like I want them back now. Like that that that's what's in my head. Like if they're safe right now, they're gonna come back. But if they're not safe right now, that's what that's the not knowing part. Like. If they're not safe, I, I, last night I was I had every light in the house on. I was hoping that I would just get just ran over by the kids running in the door and just like barrel rushing me, but it didn't happen. And it was just a traumatic night trying to be here. I'm gonna ask some kind of tough questions. About your relationship with your kids? Yeah, every, every, I mean, yeah, my, my kids are my life. I mean, those those smiles light up my life. And this, like, I mean, last night, like during like at, you know when they usually eat dinner. It was just like I miss them. Like I mean, I miss telling them, "Hey, you got to eat that, or you're not gonna get your dessert." You know, and just like you're not gonna get your snack after. But I miss that. Like I, I miss them. You know, cuddle up on their couches. They have like a mini Mouse couch and a Sophia couch that they cuddle up on and watch, you know, Bubble Guppies or something. And it was just like you know, I, I, I was. It was tearing, tearing me apart last night, and I needed that. I needed that last night, and for that, for nobody to be here last night and to go into their rooms. And not and know that I wasn't gonna turn the rain machines on. And I know that I wasn't gonna turn their monitor on. No, I wasn't gonna kiss them to bed tonight. It was. It, it was. I, I. That's why last night was just horrible. I couldn't do it. it. I just. I just want. I want everybody to just come home. Like wherever they're at, come home. That's what I want. That night, that day she was back. I mean, I, le I left work for work early that morning, like 5:15, 5:30. So like she barely let I me. Mean, she barely got barely gotten into bed, pretty much. And, and, you know, this might be a tough question, but did, were, did you guys get into an argument before she left? It wasn't. It wasn't like an argument. We had an emotional conversation, but I'll leave it at that. But it's. I just want them back. <laughs> I just I just want them to come back. And if if they're not safe right now, that's what's that's what's tearing me apart. Because if they are safe, they're coming back. But if they're not, this 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 has got to stop. Like somebody has to come forward. You spoke to her family, like her parents. Yeah, I've, I've, they've been in constant contact, like every hour. I mean, it's I mean everybody back in North Carolina and the East Coast. I mean, from Maine to Florida. What is her parents saying to you? Like, they're just like like. 
if they need to get on a flight, just let them know because I mean they don't they they feel helpless right now because they they're on the opposite side of the country. I mean, this Colorado is I mean you can't just drive around and look. I mean, it's just like you wouldn't really know what you're looking for. That's what the cops pretty much told me. That, that first day, I was like, I want to get out and drive around. This you wouldn't know what to look for. Um, last couple of questions. Uh, what is what is law enforcement? What have, what have the police or the sheriffs or your neighbors? Is anybody? What is what's, what's police saying to you? Right now, this is what they're doing. Right now is with the canines in the sense. I think this is the biggest thing. This is the biggest thing they've done so far because yesterday they all. Federal Police Department did all the searching of the house and tried to gather whatever information they could. And with the detectives, officers, and sergeants, and today it's, all, I mean, obviously with all the activity that's around, it's, 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 there's a lot going on around here. And I really hope that all of this can lead to something positive. What did um, your neighbors, did they see anything that you never seen? No, like we've, we've, uh, the, the police department went door to door asking like cameras and everything just like nothing and my last question if you have any of the recruit stuff but my last question is if your wife can see this if she if she can watch these what would you, what would you like to tell your wife your kids? Shannon, Bella, Celeste if you're out there just, just just come back like if somebody has her just please bring her back I need to see everybody I need to see everybody again. This house is not complete with, without anybody here. Please bring it back. That's it. I can take that mic off of you now.